Beneath America's mountains, the earth is moving. From the lava fields of Hawaii to the snow-covered peaks of Washington, the United States sits on one of the most active volcanic chains on the planet. Some volcanoes rumble every few years, reshaping the land in slow, predictable ways. Others lie silent for centuries, storing energy unseen beneath towns and cities that have long forgotten what lives below. Now, new data from the U.S. Geological Survey shows the ground beneath parts of America is building pressure once more. Scientists are tracking small quakes, shifting ground, and heat rising from places once thought dormant. None of it means an eruption is certain, but together, the signs tell a story that's hard to ignore. So which volcanoes pose the greatest risk heading into 2026? And what have researchers discovered that changes the way we see these sleeping giants? Let's take a look. Across the country, 161 volcanoes are tracked by the U.S. Geological Survey. Only 18 of them sit in the highest risk category, the ones capable of changing landscapes, air routes, and lives in a single day. And of all of them, one has refused to rest. On the island of Hawaii, sensors still record constant movement. Lava pulses beneath the surface, gas plumes drift over empty fields. The volcano that never sleeps, Kailauea, is once again reminding scientists why it remains one of the most closely watched peaks on Earth. Kailauea isn't just active, it's persistent. For decades, this shield volcano has rewritten the Big Island's coastline, pouring rivers of molten rock into the Pacific. Between 1983 and 2018, it erupted almost nonstop, covering entire neighborhoods and adding new land to the island itself. After a brief pause, the mountain returned to life. In late 2020, its summit crater filled again with a glowing lake of lava. Since then, short bursts of activity have continued, each one sending fountains of molten rock hundreds of feet into the air. On January 5th of 2023, one of those bursts shot lava 50 meters skyward, coating the crater floor in a new layer of molten glass. The U.S. Geological Survey keeps Kegelawea under orange alert, meaning elevated activity and potential hazards. It's not the size of its eruptions that makes Kalawia dangerous. It's the consistency. The volcano's near constant restlessness turns routine life into an experiment in coexistence with an ever-changing Earth. And it's not the only one on edge. Just 35 miles from Kalawia rises a volcano so vast it reshapes the very idea of scale. Mauna Loa covers more than half of Hawaii Island, the largest active volcano on Earth. In late November 2022, after 38 years of silence, Mauna Loa roared back to life. Lava surged from vents near the summit, racing down the slopes for miles. Within days, the flows came within two kilometers of the Daniel K. Inuye Highway, the island's main artery, before halting just short of it. Though no towns were lost, the eruption reminded scientists how quickly Mauna Loa can move from quiet to historic. Its eruptions are typically not explosive, but they're massive, releasing enough lava to bury cities. And because it shares a deep plumbing system with Kalawea, activity in one often hints at what's coming in the other. Today, seismographs still record low-level rumbling under the summit, a slow heartbeat from a volcano that rarely stays quiet for long. But to find America's most dangerous volcano, you have to leave the tropics and head north to Washington state. Standing over 14,000 feet tall, Mount Rainier dominates the skyline of the Pacific Northwest. Its summit is wrapped in more glacial ice than any other peak in the lower 48, and that's what makes it so dangerous. Rainier hasn't had a major eruption in centuries, but its slopes are primed for catastrophe. Even a small outburst could melt enough ice to unleash enormous lahars, fast-moving rivers of mud and debris that would tear through valleys stretching all the way to Tacoma and Seattle. Over three million people live in areas mapped as potential lahar paths, the U.S. Geological Survey and local agencies run regular evacuation drills, testing sirens and response times measured in minutes. Recent radar mapping has revealed new cracks and heat signatures near Rainier's summit crater. Subtle signs that the volcano is still alive beneath its glaciers. It's not erupting, but it's not asleep. And in a region defined by its mountains, Rainier remains the one scientists call the sleeping giant with the shortest fuse. When Americans think of volcanoes, Mount St. Helens is the one burned into memory. On May 18, 1980, the mountain erupted with the force of hundreds of atomic bombs. The blast leveled more than 200 square miles of forest, sent ash circling the globe, and claimed 57 lives. Four decades later, St. Helens remains one of the best monitored volcanoes in the world, and it's still active, 
Since the early 2000s, the crater has slowly rebuilt itself, pushing new lava domes skyward as magma rises beneath the surface. Scientists record constant microquakes, tiny shifts that reveal magma movement deep below. None point to an imminent eruption, but they confirm that the system is alive, a pressure cooker sealed since 2008, quietly refilling. For researchers, St. Helens is both a warning and a laboratory. Every tremor here teaches lessons that could save lives when the next Cascade volcano awakens. And not far south, another caldera hides signs that the crust beneath California is stirring again. At first glance, the Long Valley region near Mammoth Lakes looks peaceful, a stretch of forests and steaming pools framed by the Sierra Nevada. But beneath that landscape lies one of the largest calderas on Earth. Formed by a super eruption roughly 760,000 years ago, the Long Valley Caldera still breathes heat and gas through dozens of vents and fumaroles. In 2024, a cluster of small earthquakes rippled through the area, followed by subtle ground inflation, the land rising by just a few centimeters. That might sound trivial, but to volcanologists, it's a familiar pattern. Magma intruding, pressure shifting. The U.S. Geological Survey raised monitoring levels temporarily and increased gas sampling around Hot Creek, a reminder that this ancient scar isn't extinct. While a large-scale eruption remains unlikely in our lifetime, even minor activity here could send ash across California's Central Valley and disrupt air traffic into Los Angeles. Long Valley isn't a doomsday threat. It's a test case for how we read the planet's quieter warnings. And farther north, another Alaskan peak has started sending those warnings loud and clear. Alaska holds more active volcanoes than any other U.S. state, but few draw more attention than Mount Spur. Rising above Cook Inlet just 90 miles from Anchorage, Spur's eruptions can disrupt air travel, coat cities in ash, and affect hundreds of thousands of people downwind. Its last major eruption, in 1992, sent ash 30,000 feet into the atmosphere and forced jet routes across the Pacific to divert for weeks. After decades of quiet, Spur made headlines again in 2025 when sensors recorded a sudden uptick in tremors and rising heat near the summit crater. Thermal cameras spotted fresh vents opening through snow, releasing steam laced with volcanic gas. The Alaska Volcano Observatory raised its alert to watch, emphasizing that no eruption was imminent, but that magma was likely moving at depth. For Anchorage, just a short flight away, it's a reminder that even distant peaks can have immediate impact. Up here, isolation doesn't mean safety. It means the first warning might come from the sky itself. In Northern California, Mount Shasta rises like a monument, 14,000 feet of ice and rock that looks eternal from the highway below. Yet Shasta is an active stratovolcano and one that last erupted only a few centuries ago. Scientists consider it one of the most likely cascade volcanoes to erupt again, not because of constant tremors, but because of what lies beneath a large, still molten reservoir of magma mapped by seismic imaging. Shasta's threat isn't only geological, it's demographic. Tens of thousands of people now live and work on its flanks, and millions more travel its surrounding highways each year. An explosive eruption here could send ash across California and close air routes between San Francisco and Portland within hours. In 2024, satellite radar detected minor surface deformation near the summit, not enough to signal imminent activity, but enough to remind researchers why Shasta remains on the very high threat list. Beautiful, accessible, and deceptively quiet, Mount Shasta embodies the paradox of America's volcanoes. They attract us precisely because they don't seem dangerous. Deep beneath Wyoming's forests lies the most famous volcano in America, and the most misunderstood. Yellowstone isn't a ticking bomb waiting to destroy the continent. It's an enormous hydrothermal system that releases its pressure constantly through geysers, vents, and the rainbow pools that draw millions of visitors each year. Scientists have mapped its magma chambers in unprecedented detail, revealing that only a fraction is molten at any given time, nowhere near the threshold for a super eruption. Instead, Yellowstone's true importance is scientific. It's the laboratory that teaches us how to read volcanic behavior across the planet. Sensors here detect the faintest shifts in heat and motion, data that helps forecast smaller, faster-moving crises from Hawaii to Alaska. And that's the real story of America's volcanoes in 2026. From island arcs to icy peaks, each one tells us something about the forces shaping this continent and how close we live to its heartbeat. New monitoring networks, faster data models, and real-time satellite feeds mean we're better prepared than ever before. 
but nature's schedule is still her own. Whether the next eruption happens tomorrow or a thousand years from now, these volcanoes remind us that the ground beneath our feet is alive, restless, and always rewriting its own map. The story of Earth is never finished. Every tremor, every wisp of steam, is another line in a story still being written. From Kilauea's glowing craters to Rainier's frozen crown, these mountains aren't threats as much as they are teachers, showing us how dynamic our planet truly is. Which volcano do you think deserves the closest watch in 2026? Drop your pick in the comments. I read everyone, and your suggestions help shape the next update. Thanks for watching, stay curious, and remember, the most powerful forces on Earth are often the ones we never see coming.